I arrived to the state in 1985, and I actually wasn't speaking much English at all. I had a you know a nurse a di nurse diploma, but I had to take an English language exam, and I had to take the boards over to be able to work here. And initially, I worked at a free for all as a cashier, you know, making like really even less than minimum or minimum wage, but whatever. I think it gives me a, a special sensitivity to what a, a foreigner or someone who comes from a different country not speaking English go, goes through. Danielle is a quiet, unassuming person who probably would prefer not to be in the spotlight, but I'm really thankful that she agreed for us to honor her today. A key way that Danielle has been involved as a volunteer is through her uh, support with translation and interpretation. When I retired in beginning of May of 23, I said, you know, I want to volunteer. I'm from France, so I speak French. And I said, you know, I'd like to use my French. She's gone to a number of legal clinics where pro bono attorneys might be helping clients get their green cards or apply for asylum. When they're able to speak with someone in French, in their native language, not always native, but at least a language that they understand, it just feels so much more relaxed than just being able to like talk to someone who, uh, you know, make the bridge with the lawyer. Danielle has also done delivery driving. She has provided groceries and a hot meal, and she's also done medical appointment accompaniment. These different roles are really essential to making sure our refugee resettlement program runs smoothly. And without volunteers like Danielle, I really don't know what we would do. And I like it. It's, um, it's fulfilling. You, you know, you help people, you know. Um, try to find uh, the place in this country. You know, they had to go through so much to get here. So at least you, you know, helping a little bit. I really hope that Danielle knows uh, how much we appreciate and value the, all the support that she's provided to Highest PA and how essential it is to making sure we can provide um, the best service possible to our clients. It's a great experience and you meet very interesting different people from so many different nationalities, especially, you know, as a retired person. You, you have free time and why, why not use it to do something helpful?